Type 2 a Type II or solar civilization on the Kardashev scale is one that is capable of star lifting, a theoretical concept in which a civilization is able to harness and utilize the total energy output of its star, such as our sun, instead of relying solely on the energy that naturally reaches their planet and their natural resources, as they would not be enough to fuel further developments in technology and science. One of the most famous concepts associated with reaching a Type II civilization is the Dyson Sphere, proposed by theoretical physicist Freeman Dyson in 1960. This hypothetical megastructure would be built around a star to capture most or all of its energy output. And while a solid shell is a popular science fiction idea, a more practical approach would likely involve a Dyson Swarm, a collection of solar-collecting satellites orbiting the star. With this energy, a Type II civilization could power massive industrial projects, support extremely large populations, and even begin large-scale space colonization across their solar system. In such a civilization, everyday life would be transformed. For instance, interplanetary travel might be as routine as air travel is for us, enabling people to live on different planets or in massive space habitats. People would live in O'Neill cylinders, a rotating space habitat that could house millions of people and create Earth-like environments in space. They might also use stellar engineering, the theoretical manipulation of a star's properties, such as altering the orbits of planets to optimize their solar system for human use, mine asteroids on an enormous scale, or extract resources from gas giants. Another intriguing possibility is that they could create artificial stars or smaller, controlled fusion reactors that mimic the processes of their star, providing even more energy. It is also interesting to consider the Great Filter theory when considering the leap to a Type II civilization. The Great Filter is a concept in the search for extraterrestrial life that suggests there might be a stage in the development of civilizations that is extremely difficult to overcome, hence why we haven't been able to contact any type of intergalactic civilization despite the largeness of the universe and the high probability of the existence of extraterrestrial life. This filter could lie behind us, meaning that humanity has already surpassed the hardest part of becoming advanced, or it could be ahead of us, indicating that reaching a Type II civilization might be incredibly challenging or even impossible.